Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to myself and Pope's grand campaign. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks because uh, we've been busy getting back into college and university. I've been on holiday, and we're just going to get back into the swing of things now with this new episode of our Rise of the Republic campaign. Yes, um, yeah, sorry for it being a little while, guys. Um, like Scrim said, we've had stuff going on, both of us, so we've not really had time to catch up and uh, and get on with it, really, and get some stuff done. But we finally have, and we've got... Uh, We've got at least some time to get some episodes out now, so we will do that. Um, it's my turn, uh, where we left off. I'm literally just trying to remember what I've done, because it's been so long. But the Volsky <laughs> have declared war on me, as it was expected. And, uh, yeah, so now I need to decide how I'm going to strike them. I'm either going to go straight for Antium, or I could go down south and destroy their undefended settlements. I'm going to have a rebellion in the province of Ai, whatever happens, because... Um, well, the faction Vei are being absolute, um, well, well, a word that I won't say, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and are raiding me. So I'm gonna just quickly just get rid of them. And oh, there's a little bit of lag for some reason there. Um, so I've stopped them raiding. I've stopped the rebellion happening this turn, and I have gone back into Scissor. I don't think I can make it to Ostia. Oh, I could make it to Ostia. Um, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to... And what? I'll just stay in Scissor and try and get a bit of public order going up there. Rome is still very unhappy for some reason, but we're sorting that out with the Consecrated Ground going in. And then I'm going to put something else in in a minute. I'm going to go with... I've decided supply... Um, not supply lines. Um, logistics, I think, to get more campaign movement for my army. Just to, like, make it even quicker to move around places and get places... Because that's always needed, because currently I'm needing to be everywhere and anywhere right now. I'm going to siege Antium. And that's just going to... Oh god, there's a lot of people here. Um, and I'm going to retreat, because there is no way <laughs> in hell I am taking that. I'm going to pull back, I'm going to play on the defensive and wait for... Uh, the Volsky to do something I think. I'm going to retreat the army to Ostia and just keep Rome happy as well. Um, I've not got much money coming in which is a problem um, but I'm going to end the turn and pass over to Scrim basically. I'm, there's not much I can do unfortunately. Um, for me there isn't much either apart from getting rid of all my mercenaries because they're taking up all my income and now we're on 1800 a turn. <laughs> so I'm going to build up this army because I need at least a stack kicking about. Um, Carthage has a full stack popping into Sicily, and my allies do as well. I'm not sure who's going to win that. So, uh, Luckily, though, I have defeated the Carthaginians. So uh, what we're going to do here, we have a small army here. So you're going to hold on to the capital I've just taken for public order and rebellion reasons. I'm going to have to get rid of the slums as well. That's going to cost me a bit of money. 500. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we've just spent a lot of money. And... Okay. Um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and um, yeah, I can build a hoplite unit. So yeah, that's that's great. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do now. So, I just realised I'm oh. three turns away from losing my protection, and that means civil war could happen. Yeah, I am as well. I'm not sure what state I'm in polit politically. Uh, at least there's only one faction to worry about. I so think I'm, I'm okay. Turn. Actually, no, they hate me both quite a lot, and I can't pay oh, them dear. off. Uh, what can you do here? Let's get some... Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, you're a strategist, so... Let us do tactician, because that gives us extra movement range. Okay. Oh, dear. I have to figure out what my next move is now in this campaign. I don't know where to go, because I've got allies, but I want to take out Carthage, but that involves going across the sea. That involves a navy, a navy I haven't got. Oh, dear. Carthage are coming for you. By the looks of it. Carthage has taken more land, I'll tell you that much. Oh dear. Well, the Senons are... Ah, the Vei are back. Which is excellent. The Volsky... Ooh! Oh no, they brought another army up. Not what I oh, wanted. Oh dear. Well, I was, I was thinking it was the army that they just put outside of the settlement, but they haven't. They've brought another army up, and... I don't think I could beat them all. I don't know. I possibly could. I don't think I can attack them in one go. No, I can't reach in one go either. Um, 
you're not raiding, but I'm going to kick you off anyway because I just don't want to see you. Um, right, brilliant. Get back into Scissor. Um, mm, I don't know. I'm going to march to Ostia. Yeah, literally is. I'm going to march to Ostia. Um, I'll let Scissor take a little bit of a hit on the old uh, diplomatic, on the old um, happiness. I can now build something here. I could build a Shrine of Ceres. Yeah, but we're going to do that. Um, a Shrine of Ceres. Of Se I, don't, I don't know how you say that. It's definitely not how you say that, is it? Um, and then I'm going to... I could get my veteran to leave the army and go and spy, but I'm really not sure if I want to do that because I don't know whether I'll lose him, um, which is quite possible. So it's 9-7... Nine seven, um, which is going to be what's n sixteen? <laughs> um, Jesus, I can't do maths at the moment. And then another <laughs> nine, so that's twenty. What was I? What was it on sixteen plus another nine? It's hard to be twenty five against sixteen, and mine are better. I'm, I could bring up another eight next turn. Which I might just do. I might wait for that. Oh, tribal confederation. Anyway, while we've been waiting, Beleri. Oh, the people on Sardinia have confederated. Oh, so that's interesting. Okay. And the Senons have. I've encountered the Senons. Okay, go back. I don't need to see just the random bit of sea now. Um, let's see if the Senons like me. Absolute, definitely not, because they just burn, raid, and do annoying things. They're at war with a lot of people, actually. Um, the Hernisi like him. Tarkuna like me. As you have made the effort to make uh, Tarkuna, just get trade with me. I just realised all my research is literally about agriculture. Oh dear, that's not. I mean, oh, that's I'm not a bad thing. Twenty-five food. I'm going to end the turn. I'm passing over to you. We'll see what happens. No worries. So I've got a rebellion uh, in a like settlement that's very far away from me which is absolutely bloody annoying um so i'm going to finish building this army and go up there one two three four five, six seven eight nine ten awesome so that army's going to finish i'm going to keep that guy here right you are an industrial place but we still need to satisfy your happiness so we're going to get a hippodrome and a temple I really need to get money somehow. Like, I need to take a settlement soon. <laughs> I need money, 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 money. Um, Why my army is so expensive? Culture, entertainment, industry. Yep, so we're going to get a shrine. No, we'll get a, a blah, 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 whatever you call them, a agora. We're going to get a consecrated ground as well. That will that will boost up our happiness. Um, actually, no, what, what do I need? Does religion actually matter? Because I don't see cultures changing in this. Um... Mine, well, I've got to change all my culture because no one's Latin to start with apart from, like, Rome and Ostia. So you can actually change, so I should probably have some temples kicking about. Yeah, that. because I'm changing the province of Veii's culture from uh, Etruscan to Latin right now. It's 54 Etruscan, 45 Latin. Oh, in that case, I'll keep my, um, keep my temple in there. Uh, that's all I can do. Oh, so. we're flying through these turns at the moment. I mean, I'm kind of waiting. I am waiting on um, on stuff to happen. It looks. Oh, I really hope the Senons do not come and attack me. I'm relying on Carvers to be doing stuff. Whatever they're doing, I'm not sure. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. Oh, the VI are back. No surprise there. Like... Oh, and the Volsky have appeared. <gasps> no, there's a huge army. Oh, dear. I can retreat. That's a huge army, though. How they got such big armies? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm. Mm. No, I can't reach them all. And they, yeah, they have a full stack and definitely what could be another full stack if they put slap them together. So that's fun. No wonder I had no chance of taking this. So that, um, like settlement. 
Oh god, it's so good to contend to contend with. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether it's worth expanding somewhere else. And just like holding the Volsky at bay with like a smaller army. Because oh, I've got non aggression with the Sabines. Welcome. Who are the only other people that I would possibly like go go for? Can I just like spend my money and getting a trade <laughs> agreement with Oh, I'd love to have some money right now. Yeah, I really need money. No, the Sabines won't take a trade agreement. Tarkuna, you take a trade agreement. Because I got really do with a trade agreement right now. Um, just to get some money in. Oh, yes. They demand 100 quid and they'll join the VI war. No. Just Let's try this again. Because it was moderate. I'll give you everything I've got. I'll give you every... <laughs> no. Every penny. Oh, I can't actually. No, they rejected it. You, c you, annoying people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could go for the Aquai. Are there client state of who? The Frontarni. Oh, okay. The Umbri are at war with these the people. The non-aggression pact. Speaking I could get a non-aggression pact, but that doesn't really help me. And to be honest, I'd rather go through their lands and take them. Take Spelentum. Actually, you can't. I need to take out the Sabines first. Oh, I'm in a sticky position, Scrim. Oh, dear. I just don't know what I've got to do. I know, actually, we'll just get the champion. We'll try and kill him. Oh, no, there's no chance. He's oh, he's quite elite. Um, oh, gosh, my, my, if I was to move my navies, it would take, like, five turns just to get to Carthage or even um, Sardinia. Well, I'm going to do the usual thing of attacking this VI fleet and sending it running off so it just can't do anything yeah because <laughs> that's apparently what i do now um so i'll put you into there put you into ostia defend that and then ostia is fairly well defended i think i could defend that against a huge volsky army whatever happens their units are awful but they just have a loss of them and i just need to oh i wonder if i could drag the hernisi into this war In the name of the state join war against your demands join the Volsky war and I'll give you all my money which is not very much no they wouldn't oh dear I just wish they would because then they could I could drag force them to drag armies out but I'm gonna have to end the turn again because there's nothing I can do I'm really oh. I've got like no money um, and out of ideas I just realized there is a messenger from Grease Springs News of a flashlight that destroyed bridge over blah blah blah. Sparth requires additional workers to rebuild the bridge. Meanwhile, several battles have drained Athens of its workforce, and unless you intervene, there will be nobody left to harvest their crops. Corinth needs cattle to sacrifice, and surely God's good will come for years. To help Sparta, Athens, or Corinth. Less money, extra construction costs, or 15% wealth from subsistence. As I played as Corinth in the last uh, co op campaign, which you should, guys should go and check out, you should just help Corinth. I don't know, because minus 50 percent wealth from substance is quite a lot, but so is 8% from agriculture, which is basically my entire income. And inc increased construction costs does not help me at all. Um, I'm guessing Sparta's military, Athens' is navy, Corinth, I'm guessing is some form of wealth? Yeah, that or also navy. Because it has a mm. damn good navy. Hmm. I wish I'd looked at what... a Corinth, I'm going to help Corinth. I wish I'd looked at what that stone men. Okay, was. I can live with that. Because right, uh, new research. What we're we researching? Well, from culture no. public order, no provinces. My eighty percent concern. No. Um, do 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 do. What we're doing military, militarily. Uh, that can no. I can wait. Movement range pretty decent. Uh, two public order for every war against a neighboring faction. 875 income per turn from items and subjects acquired through warfare. I don't know mm. how that mechanic works. 75% um, attrition losses when under siege, extra ammunition, and extra siege. Ye oh, <laughs> minus 100% attrition losses when besieging. Yes, we'll take that because that means no more losses, basically. Yeah. Uh, right, we've got to deal with this rebel army now because that's going to rate for time. So they're going to get quite a bit of men I think so we're going to have to force march away up 
Uh, I'm going to send in my auxiliary forces because I don't have much of a choice in this matter. Uh, are they gonna be, no, I'm going to have to force march them. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be big enough or strong enough to take on my army, so hopefully I should be fine. Rome uh, actually is losing cult Latin ooh! culture. <laughs> For some reason, it's costing me only 203 to convert a building. Oh. Why is everything so cheap all of a sudden? Uh, I, I don't, don't know. know. It's not. Um, right, what we're going to do here uh, this is based on farming agriculture. Let us get a herding ground in. Get some more money. Um, oh, actually, no. Scratch that. We are going to upgrade our main city here. I'm going to get some. Takuna oh, is yeah. so yeah. rich. It is, well, it is so rich. Shame I can't take them out because they're strong and like me. <laughs> Big and strong. Big and strong. Stonk. Stonks. Oh, the Senons are going somewhere. They've gone past my first settlement. Going for the next. Oh, so one. I've got this rebel army to deal with, so. Yeah, that's nice of them. Oh, the Volsky are marching on Rome. I might have a battle. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's a big old battle. Oh, high chance of civil war. Excellent. How how high is this? Oh, 56. Blimey neck. I've got 39. And I can't afford to pay it. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I've got 39, so I'm not doing too great either. Well, Although mine happened at like 1%, so it can happen at always. Yeah, but it could not happen at 56. It might just be like, no, that's... Uh... Happening. Anyway, I'm Fine gonna have a battle. Oh, I could all resolve. Sixty percent. What have you got? If you play it. Oh, um, we'll we'll fight it. We've got a. Nope. It's a huge battle. A huge battle. You've uh, given me. Well, this would be interesting. <laughs> Utter rubbish. <laughs> I mean, all my peasants shall be slaughtered, but there we go. Yeah, exactly. Also, it's quite, it's just handy, you know, when um, they send out the weakest army, even though it's the largest one, on its own, to just get stomped. Might be there to weaken your men. This could be the first wave of many. <sighs> well, yeah, there is a couple more armies kicking around, definitely. So, I mean, it's quite possible. We're back! Indeed, yes. Me and my peasants, I mean, my loyal army will, um, Crush me. <laughs> yeah? Yes, 100%. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> you can say that. Something along those lines. Um, right, what we're going to do here is this. Get some of that. Du, du. Just move that back. These uh, sh silver chevron slingers, I'm telling you, they're going to be the make and break of this army. Also, all of a sudden, balance of power has gone massively in uh, your favour. Has it actually? If you look at it, it's more in your favour than it is in mine. Uh, I've got half and half here. Oh, have you? For me, it's definitely... I'd say it's more in yours. I'd say it's like 45-55. <laughs> your favour. Uh, yeah, just keep your army like that. That kind of works. Nice columns. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all, it's all it's, tactics. That is actually what you're going with, okay. Um, well, if you're staying over there, then I'm going to move a little bit to uh, the left. <laughs> and, then, did it, did it, did it. and then we'll uh, then we'll do that. Ooh. No, I'm not going to do that. We meet the enemy today on our terms, not Am I attacking you? Is that the idea? Um, yeah, I think so. You can do Oh, damn it. I did not plan for that. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want, Scrim. Maybe I will. <laughs> Just fear me. Say so, one thing, my men move bloody quick. Yeah, because they've got no armor. <laughs> They're literally just sitting there in the togas. Oh my god. Uh, those look at those them. native like oh, spears. Bastards. Literally just spears, that's it. They haven't even got helmets. Ah well, I mean, you know what the war economy's like in these countries. They don't, they they can't afford more than just a spear, and it's just usually a stick. It's like the peasant armies of three kingdoms. They had like brooms, brooms and stuff. Yeah, 
I was thinking exactly the same. What am I fighting against? Um, a couple, oh, of, guys, a couple of guys. Swordsmen. One or two guys. You got some peasants in the back as well. I got what no help? peasants. What are you on about? I don't know. Your Latin warriors look a bit peasant-like. You but got they have... You also have Latin warriors. I just like to remind you. Do I? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. So I... um, you're insulting me and your own boys, as you may call them. Um, let's stick him there. Let's see what we can do. Oh, he's not going to let me sit back. <laughs> well, um, army better get there quickly because the slingers have been caught out. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so quick. I know, they're great. They're like mini cavalry. <laughs> mini cavalry. I know you're, I've just seen your general sneak into those woods, by the way. I'm not daft. I know, I'm not, I'm, I didn't think you'd not see him. Yeah, okay, Slingers, please run. Keep running. We discovered the enemy's hidden units, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay, we saw him. Okay, now the, now the stress starts. Indeed. Yeah, it's rather unfortunate that peasants don't do too well. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. It's unfortunate. Oh, crap. Okay. I don't know who's winning. I don't know who's winning either. Not me, apparently. My men are retreating already. Oh, yeah, but so are mine. My um, slingers are getting gunned down. Jesus, Scrim. Oh, I know. Killing my elite boys. I can't tell who's winning in this fight. It could be going either way. But you're killing my elite slingers, and that hurts. Oh dear. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Hiding on that hill. Oh, okay. Still don't know who's winning, to be honest. Oh, yeah, um, I saw somehow you broke through my middle, and I have no idea how. Oh. Oh, I've got like units over here chasing down guys that really shouldn't be being chased down. Yeah, it turns out peasants really don't work against armies like this. Yeah. I'm not going to let you get get my boys. My beautiful boys. Actually, no, you didn't kill the silver chevron one. That's okay. They're just in combat and ro being broken. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. You bastard. <laughs> I was going to want... I wanted to go on the offensive after this, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, just do that. I don't know. No. Nah. You still trying to break those? Oh, my slingers won in that fight. What? <laughs> oh no, they didn't. They just. Okay. I don't know what you're really doing now. Uh, I'm actually retreating, to be honest with you. Oh, are you? Oh. Yeah. That's an interesting play. I'm not. Yeah, I might as well reserve the army as much as possible. I'm not going to let you do it, but okay. Yeah, some will get away. Some already have. Yeah, it's true. Your general's not gonna. <laughs> your general should not get away. Um, just don't bother then. Reserve some of my army though. Some swordsmen just got away, for example. Some slingers as well. 
Yeah, I'm not too fussed about the swords. This thing is getting away. I mean, it's killing this general is going to be a big, big thing. I mean, he just kind of just get replaced general. pretty quickly. Um, let's just actually gun down these guys. <laughs> There's 21 um, archers or whatever that I'm basically just going to gun down. Anyway, it's another victory for Rome and Pope. So I yeah, I'm not I'm, too fussed. the units I'm being given, I just can't use them. It's ugh, after mass charge, but yeah, no, you can't even do that. No. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. It's abysmal. Yeah. I mean, peasant spearmen. Oh, that's what I meant to do there. Not what I really wanted. It's kind of why I retreated. I've got three units. I think there's two units. There's three units that got away now. Yeah. Oh yeah. My so, bad. Sorry, we should have had this one fast forward. No one three wants stacks. to see this. Eh, I'll end it. I've yeah, I got it. four stack. Yeah, I've I got four enough. stacks that managed to get away. So that's something. Slingers, uh, yeah. swordsmen, oh, one other. You lost so much. I think I probably kept even that slinger unit. That's like look at look at, look at the peasant spears. They just don't do anything. Yeah, any yeah, they were pretty awful. They literally as soon as they engaged, like look, some of my units. Oh my gosh, some of my swords got really beat up. Anyway. I've now got to probably deal with a civil war. Oh god, yeah, good luck with that. I, well, I might be able to pay off one of the families. Yeah, that's just a stack of peasants all gone. Um, how many captives do they have? Um, 134 or 36. I'll release them. I've destroyed the army anyway. Um, so we won't bother with that. I'll get as much money as possible so I can pay these guys off. Did I actually lose any units? No, I didn't. And I still have some money. Um, I could do Gravitas. I might go for... Um, I could go for Assimilator. I'm tempted. Oh, what's that? Oh, Campaign Movement. That's also a potential. Um, I'm going to go with Master Tactician. Get that extra like little bonus in the... Yeah. Um, like upkeep cost also allows second wind and all sorts and I'm going to move how long am I going to have to stay here? 16, I probably will stay here two turns in Rome get the um, public order boost kick out the VI quickly because it's a thing we do now it's just a lot, it's just the usual thing um, I think I might march like down to Cassinum, take them in the rear, and then worth a shot. Yeah, and then go like up towards Antium because Antium's Fort Knox right now. It's impossible. If I could get an alliance with the Hernisi, if you have an alliance, can you still replenish in their lands? Uh, yes, I think you can. <sighs> Shame I can't get an alliance then. <laughs> Uh, which one of these is most likely looking like it's going to rebel? Also, which one has more power? That's a point. Which one has more power? Um, Lysinia has more power. Does it hold any provinces? Um, I need to look at this one, don't I? This one, and I look at party affiliation. Oh, actually, Amelia has the province Vei, though. So do I get them on side? I don't know. It's... It, doesn't tell you which one's more likely to be pissed off or like anyway I'm paying them off it's probably a waste of money decisions, it's, decisions. it's brought the it's brought it the risk down to 43% it's still probably going to happen I'm gonna end the turn and we'll see what happens uh, no longer protected high chance of civil war oh uh, the proud city conference thankful for your contribution with your sister's domination over Hellas is secured I got nothing for helping them <laughs> They just went. <laughs> uh, all right, forty-one percent. What can I do? What can I do with you? Absolutely nothing. Mm, skip How promotion. Turns. Is it three no. turns. Oh, I can't really win um, three turns. Send diplomat five loyalty. That's going to do nothing. Secure loyalty. That's going to help. That's uh, taking all my money. That's now twenty-two percent. Send diplomat. Uh, no. I don't know what else I can do, really. You can end your turn. I'm gonna have to. Um... And then we'll see what happens in this end turn, and then we'll probably have to end the episode.
Indeed, yes. I need to attack this rebel army first because it's going to get a bit too big for my liking now. So you can go there and you can actually attack it. Good to see Italianism's now going back down. Now that we've Oh, wow. Numbers. They had silver chevrons, everything. Luckily, I've got numbers. So I'm just going to quickly uh, take them out. Excellent. And they're gone. That's what we like to see. Oh, the Volsky just building another full stack. It's going to be uh, a war of attrition where I kill I just armies. Enslave them. Right, raving Crimeans, you can go to Jalea because you are going to start your massive journey to Carthage. Oh, you're actually going for it. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Told. I mean, Sicily's now me and my ally. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fair ally. enough. I mean, got to go take out Rome, go to Carthage instead. Does Rome a favour? I mean, it does me a favor because they're on my doorstep as well. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to build here? I'm going to start looking at some agriculture buildings because that gives me extra income. Um, we'll end my. Oh, I've got to upgrade some people. So, my general, my faction leader, my emperor, you are going to do covert action because that's night battles and they're handy, and I'll need them. Uh, you are going to my spy. Hmm. You're going to carry on lookouts, get the fully upgraded, because I need you to be able to poison settlements by the time we get to Carthage. Excellent. Right, it's the end of our turn. I'm sure we'll have to end the episodes. Let's yeah, see what um, happens. The Senons, I'm not really sure what they're doing. They keep moving up and down this coast in transports. They must be looking for a way to get to Spilentum, which is. or whatever it's called, Spiletium. Spiletti! Spaghetti! Ooh! Conflict of orders. The dispel the rumors with a speech. Ask the petitions to donate food. Give out food. Wait it out. I will give out food because that will. If I ask other people to give me the food, then they will think they. It was their idea instead of my idea. Anyway, I'm just going mm. through all these things. Oh, we built that that thing. I'll do this technology quickly. I'm probably going to go down. What's this one? The path of life. This helps in a way. I'm going to go with this Jupiter Optimus Maximus. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds great. <laughs> I've, got, I've just seen one that allows me, that gets, gives me 525 wealth if you control the city of Rome. So that sounds oh, like yeah. a good one to do. I mean, it's quite a way on. It's into the second like tier of culture, but we'll do that. That definitely will help. I'm going to do my move, which I plan to, um, I think I was going to do anyway, which is I'm going to force march to try and get to Cassinum. Um So I'm going through the lands of the Hernisi and I'm going to get to Cassinum from the rear. And then I'm going to just do some damage back there. Either yeah. take it or just burn it, one or the other. Um, Ostia. Actually, no, attack that. Then we can just move to Ostia in one turn. Ships heading out. Ships heading out. All right, go back to Ostia. Um, I still need to sort out your public order, actually. And... Now, what's that in there? That's 8 plus 9. That's probably enough to defend Ostia. Rome's fairly well defended. Um, so yeah, I think that's where we're going to have to end the episode, guys, unfortunately. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please leave a like and subscribe for more. Um, and we'll try and get out some more episodes as quickly as possible for this campaign. Um, now that we're all sorted with uh, our own lives, basically. Yeah, indeed. I'm now back in the swing of things, so between a job college volunteer job i will hopefully uh i've now got myself into a routine again so hopefully we'll be back to monday and friday episodes it was monday and friday wasn't it was friday i sunday. think it was yes yes yeah so we'll get back to two episodes a week um so yeah thank you very much guys and thank you for your patience uh like pope said we'll be back to normal schedule in due course just it's been a bit uh been a bit heavy recently yeah. but we'll be back on track soon enough um i do have an episode five to put out still i'm not sure if i will put it out only because I don't know where it is to be honest because I've been using my cameras for my vlog videos and my airsoft channel so I will do my best to get that up and if not I will put this one up sometime tomorrow and uh, as of next Monday we should be back on track so um, yeah leave some love in the sub and uh, we'll see you all next time yeah guys until next time